New at 10 a year from now, the BMO Harris Bradley Center may not be standing in downtown Milwaukee. And that's where Tom Durian is getting details on what's ahead and how you could own a piece of iconic history. Tom. Yeah, Carol, you know, when this place opened back in 1988, it did so to a price tag of $91 million. What's left right before demolition will probably only bring in about 500 grand, but the memories that a lot of people have here are priceless. Very bittersweet. It's been a great 30 year run. For decades, the Bradley Center has hosted live events in Milwaukee, from basketball to concerts and everything in between. The 50 million fans that have come through the doors have plenty of memories. To hear that over the, this, the course of this season, but you know, especially as we come a little closer to our end, has been really special. As the days on the calendar tick away, the question now is when the doors are locked for the final time, what about everything inside? There's a lot of interest in what are we doing with all of our stuff. Off. Here's the short answer. We cannot sell off anything that's a permanent fixture or permanent part of this building. So yes, that includes the seats for your basement. When the building is turned over to the Bucks, they will make that decision. What do you do with, with this? <laughs> well, probably nothing. It's all the other stuff in the building that is likely to sell. From the food and beverage equipment to the video screens on the scoreboard, which are already spoken for. And maybe the most valuable mementos, the artwork of performers like Keith Urban, Janet Jackson and Tina Turner, and signed guitar cases from Garth Brooks, Prince, Tim and Faith, and the Eagles. There's been a, a ton of memories, and uh, to try and uh, remember them, what was the top one, it's really almost impossible. So the Bradley Center will hold an event here in April to say goodbye to the building. The last private event here will be the Northwestern Mutual Annual Conference, which of course happens in July. Then the building will be turned over to the Bucks, and as we mentioned, torn down probably by this time next year. Reporting live outside the BMO Harris Bradley Center, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. Everybody wants a souvenir. Thanks, yeah, Tom. New era.